All right. I'm going to address this one thing. This one thing that uh, I, I feel like I get a bad rap for. You know, people telling me that I hate black people or hate black women. You know what's funny is that a lot of y'all don't know it. A lot of my white friends or whatever, they think that I hate white people. You know what I mean? Uh, it, I don't hate nobody. What I do is I tell the truth about social issues and a lot of people really can't handle it. And so instead of accepting that this goes on in certain communities, we like to deflect, make excuses, you know, blame others for the downfalls that, you know what I'm saying, that, that we, we watch every day. You know, like when we hear about black on black crime, people bring up, well, whites kill white each other too. And I'm thinking, okay. But do they do that at the same rate as us? Stop bringing up these percentages because, you know what I mean, percentages don't actually tell numbers. You know what I mean? We, in certain cities, it's like a war zone. War zone, people blasting each other all the time. So instead of, you know, addressing those issues head on, you know, what we do is we like to make excuses for it. And so when I call it out... <laughs> I'm hating blacks or, or whatever kind of other silly kind of stuff that I hear that I that uh, some people perceive about me. People that know me all my life or whatever. That's the part that's real funny. Knowing that majority of my friends are black, I hang out with nothing but black folks, you know what I mean? For the most part, from when I was a kid, you know what I mean? No, I don't hate blacks, but man, being outside of the country, being outside of Clarksville, Tennessee, Hopkinsville, Kentucky... Going all over the world, different states and stuff. I see things a little bit more different than you guys now. Not saying I'm better or smarter than you guys, but man, I'm not quick to make excuses or, you know, quick to blame somebody else for stuff that we do to ourselves. You know what I'm saying? So, no. Another thing I get accused of is hating black women. <laughs> it, okay. Yes, I'm Korean and black. My wife is Korean and black. Uh, but again, for people that know me, they know all I dated was black women. And I never had a problem with black women. Uh, strength, quote unquote strength, uh, <laughs> or any other stuff, or any other good stereotypes that come with black women. See, the thing is, we love and embrace the good stereotypes that they're strong, independent, this, that, and a third. But, you know, when we get to the other stereotypes, why are you stereotyping us? You know what I'm saying? We ain't on... Um, that attitudes and things of that nature, you know what I mean? Hey, take with the take the good with the bad. I'm not saying that none none of that stuff is true, but the things that I address is stuff like hair. Why do I address hair? People might say because on my Facebook news feed, there's a lot of little things about hair that come out. You know what I mean? And a lot of pages pitting this hair against that hair. You know what I mean? We better than you because we natural. You know we love ourselves. You hate yourself, yet you got a pound of makeup on. You know what I mean? So. That's the reason why I talk about hair. You know what I mean? Stop saying other people hate themselves just because just because they want to do something different with their hair, just because they like another look. Doesn't mean they want to be white. It doesn't mean they don't love themselves. All it means is they prefer this look as opposed to their natural hair look. And we alter a lot of things that we don't like about us naturally. That, that appears of us naturally. We get haircuts. Y'all wear makeup, you know what I mean? All kind of different things, you know? So, no, I don't hate black women, black people, you know what I mean? I'm just tired of the excuses. You know, I'm just ready for people to take a look in the mirror and face things head on. That's all.